The next time you're shopping for wine or out to dinner, think about asking for Riesling. Riesling is wonderfully aromatic, complex, and versatile. Because Riesling is widely misunderstood, we thought we'd set the record straight and hopefully convert a few Riesling zealots along the way. This is Riesling 101. There are five things every wine lover should know about Riesling. Riesling is one of the noble grape varietals. Riesling has a rich history. Rieslings come in many different levels of residual sugar. Not all Rieslings are sweet. Riesling is a perfect food wine, and the latest Riesling Renaissance is a global phenomenon. As a noble grape, Riesling is respected across the world. Noble is a wine term used for grape varieties commonly associated with the highest quality wines. In general, the term noble grape has been applied to grape varieties which meet two criteria. One, the grape is established as a high-quality variety in a classical wine region, where it's used to craft wines with a global reputation. Two, the grape has been adopted in wine regions in other parts of the world and proven capable of yielding excellent wine in those regions. The red noble grape varieties include Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, Merlot, and Syrah. The white noble grape varieties include Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Chenin Blanc, Pinot Gris, and Riesling. Riesling's origins can be traced back to Germany as early as the 15th century. Riesling's most notable ascendance begins after the end of the Thirty Years' War in 1648. Alsace was ceded to the French and devastated German vineyards were replanted, mostly with Riesling, to replace inferior grape varieties. Powerful figures in the church used their authority to promote Riesling. In the 19th century, German Riesling achieved great success, fetching prices on par with the great wines of Bordeaux and Burgundy. At Christie's Auction House in 1808, 12 bottles of Riesling were sold for the highest price paid for any wine in history. But this trend didn't last. War again devastated German vineyards in the first half of the 20th century. When vineyards were replanted, it wasn't always with Riesling or with a mind toward quality. Technological and scientific advancements led to huge vineyard yields, and wine production entered a phase focused on quantity over quality. Unfortunately, many memories linger from the 1970s and 80s, when U.S. consumers' experience with German wines was dominated by mediocre sweet wines represented by mass-produced brands that shall remain nameless. The truth is that these wines contained little, if any, Riesling. In addition to tarnishing the Riesling name, the wines conditioned many to view Riesling as a sweet wine lacking in character and complexity. Mercifully, a trend toward quality is again ruling the day, and since 1996, Riesling has regained its status as the most widely planted grape in Germany. The varietal is sharply on the rise today, both in the old and new worlds. Riesling is a very aromatic and expressive grape variety, providing impressions of fresh flowers like honeysuckle, lime, and jasmine. Riesling's aromas and flavors are compared often to orchard fruits like apple, peach, apricot, and even the tropical-scented lychee. People often describe Riesling wines as tasting clean, racy, and bright. Riesling's compact bunches and small berries make it prone to molds, some of which are beneficial and necessary to make a certain style of Riesling wine. When beneficial, the mold is called noble rot, and it attacks ripe grapes, dehydrating them to a point where they're capable of producing very memorable, concentrated, long-lived dessert wines. These dessert wines can age up to a hundred years. Riesling is an extremely versatile grape capable of producing world-class wines in all styles, from still to sparkling to dessert sweet. No other grape variety is able to express this full spectrum of styles with such grace. Riesling is able to do so both because of its high natural acidity and potential to develop high sugar levels. Riesling is all about balance, and a well-balanced Riesling is measured by the harmony of residual sugar, acidity, and alcohol. 
Residual sugar, or RS, is the measure of sugars that remain unfermented in a finished wine. The higher the RS, the higher the perception of sweetness. Acidity contributes to the bright, fresh, or tart characteristics of Riesling and acts as a counterbalance to sweetness. And alcohol brings a sensation of warmth to the taste experience. RS, acidity, and alcohol play a crucial role in all wines we enjoy, but with Riesling more than any other wine variety, these variables can be manipulated to craft a vast spectrum of different wine styles, from bone dry to dessert sweet. Riesling pairs particularly well with flavorful foods, especially Asian fusion cuisine. A Riesling exists out there to fit any situation and circumstance, to pair with light seafoods and salads, with rich meat dishes, or even the sweetest desserts. Dry Riesling can pair with foods as diverse as pork and sashimi, and sweet Riesling is a killer pairing with spicy foods like Thai, Indian, or Mexican, because the sweetness cuts through the heat of the spicy cuisine. Riesling is a very hardy grape variety, which thrives in poor, nutrient-starved soils. The grape ripens late, usually toward the end of October or early November, and requires a long growing season to ripen properly. Riesling prefers to ripen slowly and thrives in climates with cooler evenings. Slightly cooler climates allow Riesling grapes to retain the acid backbone, which helps make them so bright, interesting, and balanced. Riesling wines do not respond well to oak barrels, preferring to be fermented and aged in stainless steel or neutral wood to reflect its true character. It's been said that Riesling, more than any noble variety, best portrays the truest character of a given vineyard. The largest growing regions include Germany's Mosel, Pfalz, Rheinhessen and Rheingau, France's Alsace, Washington State's Columbia Valley, California's Coastal Appalachians, New York's Finger Lakes, Canada's Ontario, and Australia's Clare Valley and Barossa Valleys. Riesling is truly admired the world over. To ensure that you're well on your way to becoming a Riesling zealot, let's recap what we've learned. There are five things every wine lover should know about Riesling. Riesling is one of the noble grape varietals. Riesling has a rich history. Rieslings come in many different levels of residual sugar. Not all Rieslings are sweet. Riesling is a perfect food wine. And the latest Riesling renaissance is a global phenomenon. So drink in the rich history of Riesling. Your palate will thank you. This has been Riesling 101 by Pacific Rim Winery.